I'm extremely sensitive, too sensitive probably, are going to want an... to wear the Crocs to Walmart. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. I'm gonna to make some put a new pancakes. And we're gonna be... <laughs> Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin and I run the blog called Mrs. Midwest. We have... Oh, hi! Hi. Oh, dear pa. Okay. Hi. You want to be a part of it? Okay. There you go. <laughs> okay. We're going to be doing some home baking today. And we're going to start with... We're going to start... I did change it in the laundry room. Does anyone else do that or is it just me? So this is my house on a typical day. Lots of cleaning going on. Lots of Harley. Yes, baby. And then over here, we have my husband sleeping. Yeah, we live a lot. He lives a nocturnal life. So he's sleeping. And so I like to be kind of quiet um, so he can get the sleep he needs. This is my house basket. Basically, this basket is what I use to gather random stuff that's in transition. Put things that don't belong into it and then bring them to where they do belong. And if you don't have a spot for it, make one or get rid of the object. That's my rule. Everything in my home has to have a home. And I learned that tip from my mother. You wanna go outside? Go on, go outside. <laughs> Very cute. Also, this is the dress I just ironed. It's thrifted. It's so comfortable. I also really like long dresses. I feel like they complement my tall shape very well. I will wear a dress even when I'm just doing homemaking stuff because to me, it's the easiest thing to put on because you don't need to have a whole outfit. It's an outfit all in one. Like, amazing. Just sitting here, you can see it's very wrinkled. I wanted to show you guys this today because a bunch of you have asked about my slip cover on the couch. This is my college couch. We got the thing for $10 and we got the slip cover for maybe like $40. Um, my mom found it, this thrifted couch. So all the kudos to her. I'm actually going to take this off and put it in the washing machine. Looking at it, you can see it's kind of a pretty pattern, um, but the issues really lie in the fact that it's just worn through. So it's not something that you can sew because there's whole chunks of fabric missing on both sides of the couch. But yeah, this is the couch. You know, you gotta work with what you gotta work with, right guys? It is what it is. So basically everything in this room is thrifted except the curtains. I, I thrifted a lot of this because we just don't have the money to go to Target and buy uh, two lamps, four pillows, a blanket, and some artwork. Like that would be hundreds of dollars. Whereas at a thrift store I could get all of that for under $50. And so what drives me is really the money behind it all. It's so much cheaper. All right. Oh gosh.
dog is outside, I'm gonna go ahead and powder the carpets. This is something I like to put down before I vacuum, so it just makes it extra fresh. take this junk mail and put it where it belongs. So it is going in the basket. Goodbye junk mail. Love my house basket. likes to give the paw. Does anybody else have a dog that gives a paw? This is the aftermath of some tears. I must be hormonal or something, but I just got so stressed doing this homemaking video. <laughs> Hi. Because I'm so stressed and like concerned about what people will say about the products I use, the food I eat, and it feels like in these modern times, everybody expects female YouTubers to be like all natural, vegan, the most healthy, the most fit, like the people who have it all together, the people who have the recommendations for all the stuff and they're just perfect. And it's like, that's not real life. I truly care about the opinions of others. Like I want people to feel comfortable. I want them to feel inspired and happy. And so I think that's what's been happening during this vlog. It's like, I wanna show you guys me cleaning my countertops or I wanna show you cleaning my windows, but then I'm worried that people are gonna be like judging my chemical use. And I think what I'm gonna do is just accept that that might happen and 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 know that you know i'm still learning as a homemaker housewife i've only been doing this for two years and there's so much for me to learn and i'm sure that so many of you have have really wonderful hacks about homemaking and and i don't need to have it all together and i don't need to be perfect and i think i just put too much pressure on myself to please everybody in the comments and i think i'm going to include this clip into the vlog because i think you guys i don't know maybe you want to see more sides of me but I'm extremely sensitive, too sensitive probably, and I'm still learning, but I think I just need to be gentle on myself and also not expect everyone to just love what I do. That's fine. All right, so I am back. We're gonna keep homemaking. This is life as Mrs. Midwest. Hormonal, a little stressed, um, and we're gonna do it. And then I'm gonna run some errands cause life calls, duty calls, and then we're gonna walk Harley.
time to clean the dog nose smudges off the front windows. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I got my trusty glass cleaner and microfiber cloth. to get rid of all that nonsense. laundry but my husband's sleeping where a lot of this goes so we're just gonna leave it for now all right this is today's store look I have my shoes Harley can't come unfortunately but yeah we're just gonna run to Walmart I was pretty tempted to wear the Crocs to Walmart not gonna lie not gonna lie. So we're gonna go pick up some eggs and heavy whipping cream because I think I wanna make butter with you all today. Hi, I love you. Bye, baby. Bye. Gotta shut the door. We don't want someone to steal you. <laughs> I had the urge to stop at a thrift store. I don't know if I'm gonna buy anything, but I'll show you what I would buy if I was a millionaire. <laughs> and I did buy the hospital dress because sometimes you just want a comfortable house dress. <laughs> I like shopping at local thrift stores because the proceeds go to local ministries and it's not as corporate. And as you can see too, we don't always find clothing every time we go we don't always find something that's the thing it's not like shopping online it's not like shopping at a department store or a Walmart you don't find what you're looking for what you're looking for might find you so welcome to the kitchen we are going to get started on our next activity which is making butter you are going to want an apple Oh. <laughs> 
Hi. You always notice my greetings too. Hi, baby. Attention. Butter. Yes, you heard that right. You learned how to make bread, and now you're learning how to make butter. And all you need is heavy whipping cream and a few tools. is buttermilk. My husband and I like to have brunch after church, so I think I'm gonna use the buttermilk to make some buttermilk pancakes. So I would recommend refrigerating your homemade butter for sure. But as you can also see, I am just a home cook. I am not a professional, so if I can do this, so can you. cheesecloth. I got this off of Amazon for like four dollars um, but it's basically a straining cloth that you can use to squeeze out all the extra moisture so that's what I'm gonna do right now. about this it's a little warm in my kitchen so it's a little bit melty but this is the final product it almost looks like a ball of mozzarella cheese don't you think is I'm going to store this in the fridge as quick as possible because it's kind of melting everywhere <laughs> um, and then we're going to take the dog for a walk so that's basically how you make butter it took me 20 minutes chunks in it but I'm just gonna be using it in pancake and baking recipes so it's really not a big deal but yeah so the butter is in the fridge this is gonna go in the fridge and now it's time to walk the dog I did quickly want to show you that after a couple hours in the fridge the butter is just like normal butter it flakes you can see that that looks pretty spreadable and it's not melting anymore so yeah so this outfit is happening. I'm gonna do it. We're gonna walk the dog and wear this wacky outfit and enjoy the end of this disgustingly humid day. I ordered a new hat online because my men's bargain garden hat is now very squished and ridiculous looking. 
but who says I was here to be your fashion icon, right? <laughs> Let's get going on this walk and get to some cooler air because it is so hot in Michigan right now. I've said this before, but walking is my favorite way to exercise. The milkweeds. <laughs> Where did you go? <laughs> she was thirsty and hot. Ah, this is our lake. from our walk and look what came. <laughs> now I have a women's hat instead of a men's hat. Oh, I like it. I like it so much. <laughs> now I won't be an embarrassment to all I hang out with with my squishy hat. <laughs> Just want to thank you so much for watching the video and I just hope you know that even though I do have a lot of joy in life, I do have a lot of peace, it doesn't mean I'm not stressed ever, it doesn't mean I don't struggle and a lot of the struggle in my life does come from blog stuff but I wouldn't have it any other way. I'm so grateful for this channel and I had a lot of fun today. So. If you liked the video, please like the video, and if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel. It helps more people find us, and as always, check out my written blog and follow me on Instagram. I hope you have a wonderfully fabulous and fresh week, my sisters. And we're going to be... <laughs> Anyways, I love you all. <laughs>